How it's going on YouTube, this is Scotty and I'm bringing you another gameplay today. This is again from an 8th lobby, I think it was. Um, but this commentator is just going to be talking about how um, we have a new um, roster change and we are now going to be turning with someone called Delirium um, Murder and he's a quality player. He can play both AR and so and his objective role is really good and he plays really solid and he performs quite well again, consistently as well. He's an all round good player. But I'm not going to be talking about that much because I want to get on to um, Call of Duty Ghost. And just before I go into that, I'm just going to tell you about um, Gamma Gamers. They're actually really good products and I actually got f um, free stuff from them the other day. And they're actually really well. They work in game as well and they do help you concentrate a lot. So check them out. The link will be in the description below. Um, but yeah, Call of Duty Ghost, what do I think of from the first, from the reveal? To be honest with you, I didn't think it was that good. I thought it was overcomplicated, and I think Infinity Ward they do overcomplicate the games quite a bit, and I just think it's, I don't know, I just think they try to do too much stuff with the gameplay and the in-game mechanics, and I think it it just looks so complicated, and just it doesn't look as if it is a Call of Duty game anymore, it, it cha it's changed so much, which that's the thing I like about Treyarch, they keep it simple, like with this game. Um, they've kept it simple. Um, there's nothing really. It's just it flows like similar to what Call Four did, and I think the I think the guns on that on Call of Duty Ghost. I've only seen a couple of them. I haven't seen them all yet, so I still gonna go into the game with an open mind. But from first looks, they didn't look that great. The guns didn't look that good. The only gun I really think I liked was the fall. And but. I also one thing I did like was the the way the dog follows you around, and I think that's actually really good. I think it's a good idea instead of getting like a lot of dogs just like one around after math, one dog just follows you around, which I thought was really good. Um, but since I've been watching gameplay from pro players, people like Optic Nature, Rambo Ray, people stuff like their gameplays from the actual events, I think I've actually noticed the gameplay actually is it flows well, and from the reveal it didn't look great but now that I've seen the gameplay it actually looks better than what I thought it was already so that's good news because to be honest with you I weren't too excited about it and I think one thing that the reveal should have talked about a lot more was the competitive scene I felt as if they didn't touch upon that as much which I think it would have been a lot better because of all the esports players really want to know about it but I have no doubts that it will be good and it will be a good game for competitive Call of Duty because I didn't really play Modern Warfare 3 to be honest with you because I didn't I didn't enjoy playing competitive on it I didn't give it a chance and I think I, I should have done which with Call of Duty Ghost I am going to give it a chance I'm going to play consistently for the first couple of weeks couple of months get used to the gameplay and then start hopefully getting into teaming up and screaming and, and you know all the other competitive stuff but I just wanted to talk about how like my first impressions because I don't like I think Something that's annoyed me. I even though I haven't seen like the only it was only the beta, wasn't it? Um, at the reveal, and um, I think uh, I didn't see all the game modes. And I, I'm not a fan of the I've heard and I've heard, I've heard rumors about them not having hard point, which will be a massive downer. But hopefully they can bring domination back into competitive and actually get a really nice three piece here. Um, I also get another one as well near the very end of the game, which is an even nicer. But yeah, um, I think if they bring Domination back into competitive, I think that would be good. I, I hope they bring Sabotage back, if that's going to be a game mode. I, I didn't like the look of the Capture the Flag, to be honest, um, about teleporting back over the map and stuff like that. That that didn't... I, I weren't fond of that, to be fair. But um, I just don't like how everyone's... I think I was, I was one of those negative people when I first watched it and was like, no, it doesn't look good at all. It looks awful. I'm not gonna buy it. It's gonna be. I'm just gonna stick to Black Ops 2. But as I said before, since I've been watching gameplay, it actually looks like a really good game, and I think everyone should go into the game with an open mind, and they should give the game a chance because that's what I'm certainly gonna do now. And I actually, I wish I didn't say that I didn't like it because it's actually a really good game. Well, from what it looks like anyway. But um, that's gonna be the end of this commentary because of. I'm going to be going screaming soon and
I just really wanted to quickly post this up. Um, just keep an eye posted for that three piece at the end. I think it's 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 really nice. And also go follow um, the team. I we we have a new team Twitter which is at Delirium on um, at Delirium Esports. You can also follow the team which will be in the description below, which is at Delirium underscore Scotty, at Delirium underscore James, at Delirium underscore Ozzy, and at Delirium underscore Murder, who is our new pickup, and he's a very soft player. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this commentary and enjoy the music. Peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm.